you have to have completed six years of service. You need to agree to four more years and the person must, might be in DEERS. That's the top, the top SNP. We got that one. The bottom one is when are you eligible to use these benefits? This says there must be an approved transfer of benefits. Yup, true. You must be enrolled in DEERS. That's actually not true because children can use transferred benefits until they're 26 and they may or may not be enrolled in DEERS after they are 21 or 23, right? So that's a super interesting point. Um, and then you'll use these transferred benefits during the required time frame. And if we were to be able to click on that link, it would show that there are two different time frames for spouses and children. As I said, children almost always have access to um, transferred post 9-11 GI Bill benefits until they turn 26. There is a little exception if they are um, serving in the military on their own. They may be able to extend that deadline a little bit. Children can't use the benefit until the service member has been in for at least 10 years. So they've, you know, got, regardless of when they transferred, they must have served for 10 years and they must either have graduated from high school or gotten a GED or, you know, they can't like start using it when they're seven. Spouses, however, do not need to wait until 10 years of service. Spouses can start using the GI Bill as soon as it's been transferred as early as six years of service. Now, obviously there's a risk in that, right? Because of the four year service requirement. If a spouse, if the church bills, the benefits are transferred, let's say it's six years of service, and the spouse starts using them immediately, they might use three and a half years and the service member may choose not to re-enlist, right? And now they've, I mean, the service member probably wouldn't choose not to re-enlist at this point in time because that would put them in a, in a rough situation. But that's yeah. something to consider for spouses.